When it comes to the SAT, shaded area problems are ubiquitous. That's right, learning about math is no excuse to have our critical vocabulary skills slip, so I thought I'd throw one in there to keep you on your toes. Ubiquitous means found everywhere, and that's exactly what you can expect when it comes to shaded area problems on the test. In this lesson, we'll go over how to identify, set up, and solve shaded area problems. Let's start by exposing these types of problems for what they really are. At its core, any shaded area problem is a subtraction problem. Take this picture, for example. If we wanted to find the area of the shaded region, we would say that it was the area of the total minus the area of the unshaded region. And if we wanted to find the area of the unshaded region, we would say that it was equal to the area of the total minus the area of the shaded region. You'll use these two equations whenever you work with shaded area problems. Remember, we're just using our knowledge of areas to do a subtraction problem. Let's work through a problem together. The figure below is formed by inscribing a square in a circle. If the circumference of the circle is 16 pi, what is the area of the shaded region? We'll underline the facts and circle the key terms. Then we want to label our answer choices, which are possible values for the area of the shaded region. Since we're looking for the area of the shaded region, that means we need to use the equation shaded area equals total area minus unshaded area, or the area of the circle minus the area of the square to find the answer. But in order to do that, we need to find the area of the circle first. We are told that the circumference of the circle is equal to 16 pi. Based on that, we can figure out the radius if we remember that the circumference, 16 pi, is equal to 2 times pi times the radius. So if we solve for r by dividing both sides by 2 pi, we get that the radius of our circle is 8. Looking at our formula box, we see that the area of a circle is equal to pi times the square of the radius. So, plugging in 8 for the radius, we get the area of this circle is equal to pi times 8 squared, or 64 pi. Now we can plug back into our subtraction equation, so we have shaded area equals 64 pi minus the unshaded area. We've got a great start on this problem, but we still have several steps to get through. Stick with me as we keep going. Now we need to figure out the area of the unshaded square. If you draw a line from one corner of the square to the other, you'll see that the diagonal of the square is equal to the diameter of the circle, or radius times 2. We found that the radius of our circle is 8, and since the diameter is 2 times the radius, 2 times 8 gives us a diameter of 16. Now, because we know that the sides of a square are all equal, we can see that two sides of the square and the diagonal form two isosceles right triangles, or 45-45-90 triangles. For our very special triangle, our sides are in a constant ratio of x, x, and x times the square root of 2. Because our hypotenuse is equal to 16, we can set 16 equal to x times the square root of 2. If we solve for x by dividing by the square root of 2, we get that a single side of our square is 16 divided by the square root of 2. We're almost there. Because the area of a square is just side squared, we're going to square 16 over the square root of 2 to find the area. 16 squared is 256. This is a good one to just know, so you don't need to spend time doing work. Root 2 squared is 2, and 256 divided by 2 is 128. So the area of the square is 128, which means the area of the unshaded region is equal to 128. Finally, we can plug this into the equation we wrote for the shaded area earlier. So shaded area equals total area, 64 pi, minus unshaded area, 128, which becomes 64 pi minus 128. This looks like we should type it into our calculator, but looking at our answer choices, answer choice A is 64 pi minus 128. We don't need to solve any further, so go ahead and circle answer choice A as the correct answer. Now let's put your newfound shaded area knowledge to the test. That's right, it's pause and solve time. Grab some paper and a pencil, and when I say pause, you'll pause the video and solve the problem. When you unpause the video, we'll go over it together. Here's the question. In the following figure, A, B, D is a quarter circle with a radius of 10. What is the area of the shaded region? The answer choices are A, 10 pi, B, 
10 minus 4 pi, C, 20 minus 25 pi, and D, 100 minus 25 pi. Now it's your turn. Ready, set, pause. And we're back. How is that one on your own? Let's work through this problem together and make sure we get the same answer. We'll start like we always do, by underlining the facts, circling the key words, and labeling the answer choices. We're looking to solve for the area of the shaded region, so let's write out our formula. Shaded region equals total area minus unshaded area. Now let's fill some info into the picture. The radius of the circle can correspond with line AB, so let's label that 10. AD is also a radius of the circle. That means quadrilateral ABCD, the total area in our picture, is a square. So the total area equals side squared or 10 squared. Now the unshaded area is a quarter of a circle, so the formula for our unshaded area is 1 quarter times pi r squared. We know the radius is 10, so let's fill that in. Now we do a bit of math and find that our shaded region equals 100 minus 1 quarter times 100 pi. That simplifies to 100 minus 25 pi, and that's answer choice D. Circle it. We're done. So as we've seen, shaded area questions aren't so bad when you know the formula. Just remember to write out every step and take advantage of the formula box on the test. <laughs>